So there's medications, there's brain stimulation, there's brain exercises. How about natural supplements um, to help prevent or reduce the progression of Alzheimer's? So there are many that I think are helpful. Curcumin, um, which is purified from turmeric, seems to be a good antioxidant that's helpful. Blueberries are helpful. Uh, Resveratrol, which is a component that's found in red wine, is helpful. Um, those are some omega-3 fatty acids are also helpful because they keep your heart clean. And these are all anti-inflammatory. Anti, they're also so anti-inflammatory. So yes. that it's reduced the inflammation, which of course is implicated in everything in our bodies. Yes, right. and, and so they may help with preventing progression of Alzheimer's or even preventing onset of Alzheimer's in two ways. One is by reducing inflammation in your blood vessels. They keep your blood vessels healthy, increase blood flow to your brain, and help the sanitation of the removal of toxic substances from your brain, so that way. And also, if you do, despite having good blood vessels, have deposits of these toxic substances in your brain, the theory and the thinking is that your brain then develops autoimmune mechanisms uh, that can be harmful to the brain cells themselves. And by reducing the immune, um, that immune flare-up, you're again keeping the brain healthy. Yeah. So. Um, one of the best ways to get these supplements, if you're not big on supplements, is to get a have a Mediterranean mm -hmm. diet, which is high in many of these substances. Gotcha. So how about things like ginkgo biloba, which is one of kind of the classic brain supplements? Yeah. So ginkgo, um, in at least one study, was found to be helpful to keep it to help helpful for patients with Alzheimer's uh, because it increases brain blood flow and it also has some anti-inflammatory properties. Um, my big issue with ginkgo is that um, because, again, we're getting it from supplements, we don't really quite know the dose of it, and there are cases now where it's caused bleeding into the brain. Um, so ginkgo is one of those drugs that can do that. Vitamin E is also very helpful at, in small doses. Which can be a blood thinner. And that's a blood thinner right. as well. Um, so those are supplements that can be helpful, but you have to be cautious about taking them. And how about something like B vitamins? The B vitamins, I think, are God's gift to mankind. I think they're very helpful for keeping your brain healthy, and not just your brain, but your nerve, um, the nerves that supply your arms and your legs, which are very long nerves, um, the B vitamins keep them healthy. Now, we already have supplementation in our diet that's mandated by the government, but in addition to that, older people lose the ability to absorb B vitamins. So sometimes if you're having problems, you should check your levels and then maybe get shots instead because the uh, taking the supplement, you may not really be able to absorb it properly. Or sometimes use subling sublingual um, supplements. So I would say that natural medicine is not necessarily do-it-yourself medicine. And one thing we suggest often to patients, and I'd be curious if you do this, is to partner with a naturopathic physician who has had a lot of training in supplementation and natural and botanicals and things like that. Do you ever partner with that or with, with anyone or suggest that? Right. I mean, I have patients mm -hmm. who have naturopaths as their primary physician, mm -hmm. and I think that's great. Um, I think it, you know, it's you think about the medications that we use now for Alzheimer's. Um, one of the very common ones, donapazil, is made from black pepper. Um, so that's a natural medicine. Right. Um, opium comes from poppy seeds. Um, well, so <laughs> we don't talk about the naturalness of that. So right. I mean, every right. medicine right. ultimately comes from a mm -hmm. natural source, and now has been refined mm -hmm. and used differently. Right. But those are medicines with power. So I think you, we can't just take these medications without thinking about what the side effects could be, how they could be helping us, but also maybe harming us. So if you can work with someone who knows exactly what's happening with them, I think they need to be monitored and supervised. Yeah, no, I firmly agree with it because, yeah. again, it, they really do work. They yeah. may be natural. You may be able to buy it at the, the corner health food store, but they definitely have powerful impact. Yeah. All right. Yes. Thanks for being open to it. Thank you. <laughs> If you like what you just saw, come to our website. We have many more videos with Dr. Devi. You can buy her book, too, The Spectrum of Hope. Here's mine. It's all dog-eared because there's so much important information in it about the, the new learning and understanding about Alzheimer's. And do me a favor. Do that social thing. Let other people know about these very important videos. Come to our website, bottomlineinc.com.